Yeah, and I don't know what the Farmer's Almanac is saying about here for this winter, but I can tell you this much. It does not look like we're going to see the winter we saw last year. It looks like it's going to be drier and a little bit warmer than okay. normal. Okay, so very good. We'll see how that pans out <laughs> as we get into the winter season. Right now, not too much going on out there. Seeing some isolated thunderstorms popping up along the northern mountains near Chama, and we'll likely see a few more scattered thunderstorms develop along here in the northern Sangres as we head through the rest of this afternoon. But most of the moisture has shifted on to the east, and that's where we'll see um, most of the shower and thunderstorm activity pop up later on today. So for the metro, may see an isolated shower, but our rain chance is really slim, and that will be the case for the next couple of days. Meanwhile, it is breezy across the state, especially along the northeast plains. Take a look at the wind speeds. Uh, anywhere from 28 miles per hour in Clayton, 14 miles per hour in Tucumcari, 10 miles per hour in Albuquerque. We are seeing those wind gusting up to about 30 or 35 miles per hour. So it does get pretty breezy out, but it's not going to reach severe limits. So that's certainly some good news. Uh, mainly up to 30, 35 miles per hour, perhaps a little bit higher than that in any thunderstorms that develop over in the northern mountains. So let's track the shower and thunderstorm activity now with Superstorm Track. Again, as we head through the rest of this afternoon, most of the activity will be confined to the northern mountains. Uh, could see a few isolated thunderstorms pop up in the Gila area later on today as well. We should dry things out as we go through tonight, and then tomorrow, most of the activity will be confined to the south, mainly in the higher terrain there as, as drier air works its way into the northern half of the state. And and then our rain chances really stay on the slim side for the next couple of days. We could see a few spot thunderstorms in the higher terrain, but that's really going to be about it. Temperature-wise, right now we're in the 70s up to the north, 66 in Taos, 78 in the Duke City, and in the upper 70s and low 80s in the southeast. So we're warming things up out there. It's a little bit muggy, uh, but it won't be quite as warm as it was over the weekend. For the northwest, expect a few scattered thunderstorms today with highs in the upper 60s in Durango, low 80s in Farmington. Overnight lows tonight down in the 40s, and that will be the case for the next several nights. It will be kind of chilly in the mornings uh, with that drier air moving on in. Down in the southwest, we could see a few thunderstorms, especially in the higher terrain, with highs topping out in the middle and upper 80s. So not too bad over there. In the southeast, a little warmer today with highs in the upper 80s to right around 9 degrees, with scattered showers and storms popping up later on today. For Roswell, expect a chance for a few thunderstorms in the afternoon through Tuesday and Wednesday, and temperatures will climb. We're topping back out in the low to mid 90s. Up in the northeast, windy here with spot thunderstorms possible. Expect highs mainly in the low to mid 80s. And up in the northern mountains, we'll see a chance for a few scattered thunderstorms. Already starting to see some activity here with highs in the 70s and 80s. Santa Fe, expect a high of 79 degrees today, a little warmer tomorrow and Wednesday with those highs back in the low to mid 80s. Over in the east mountains, we'll see a chance for a few thunderstorms here too with temperatures topping out in the low to mid 80s. But I think our rain chances will be really slim here. Just may see a spot thunderstorm. And then in the metro, a few scattered thunderstorms are possible. Our rain chance is very slim for the next couple of days. It will be warm in the afternoons with that dry air in place, but then kind of cool at night. We'll be starting off um, the mornings in the 50s. September will be in the 50s, yeah. almost to September. Okay. Doing like it. Thank you, Kristen, very much. <laughs> New Mexico is reporting.